Welcome back to the channel. This is Swobbly. You're here watching Swobbly Does Stuff. Today we have a new Xbox review of the game Scorn. Recently came out on uh, Game Pass. I did play it just over a week ago, but unfortunately I came down with a bit of flu. Uh, didn't really want to record a video with uh, snot hanging out of my face. So I gave it a few days until I got a little bit better. So now strap yourself in a review of Scorn coming up in a moment. But whilst I've got your attention, please hit that like button, hit the bell icon to be notified of any content and subscribe to the channel. Getting a few more subscribers now, enjoying it, would like a few more, so get in there. Right, enough waffle, let's get on with the review. Scorn on Xbox Game Pass. <laughs> Well, here we are with Scorn. Did find whilst playing with it, running around is the best option because otherwise it feels really, really slow. Now, as I mentioned in my intro, um, I came down with a bit of flu. Playing this was giving me motion sickness. It was making me feel very strange indeed. Got to admit though, graphics, absolutely beautiful such detail in all of the gunge and the bleh, sinew all over the place it really does remind you of the good old-fashioned alien film nasty looking the game yeah it completely and utterly sucks but it's got a few redeeming features especially if you're into walking simulators with puzzle elements and shoving your hands into moist mank alien devices. It's a little bit of a thinker. You've got to go around figuring out what the hell's going on, what the hell you've got to do next, and where you're supposed to go. I wandered around for a good hour trying to figure out what the hell am I supposed to do. The level that you're currently looking at, I was wandering around, clicking different things, moving random stuff, thinking, yeah, I've got to have to find something. There's something hidden somewhere. There has to be. But eventually, after looking around, hunting, I found this strange little room up a lift. Didn't know what I was doing. I thought, hmm, things to shove your hands in. Let's stick my finger in and have a go. So I had a go. It's a puzzle part. You've got to move the little eggs around the structure into the right place so that you can then press another button, open the egg, drop the weird little freak that lives inside it, drop it down, hatch it out, cut it out, get him as a new friend. Then again, when you see him, I don't think you really want him as a friend. He's not the nicest. Didn't work on that egg. There's a little egg that's got two little lights on it. You can see it just to the right of the screen there. I had to figure out how the hell to move that one all the way over into the right place. It took me bloody ages. <sighs> I gave up. I came back the next day. I sorted it. I was like, yeah, that's the one. But it took me a little while to figure out that that was the one that I had to get. But once you got it, it's a bit of a satisfying moment. There it is. Let's crack that baby open. It's like a Kinder Egg. Little surprise inside for you to play with. Yeah, there's some weird little thing living in there. But this is basically the game. It's a puzzle game. I thought it was going to be something like a hack and slash, beat the crap out of aliens, running around, getting infected, all of that kind of stuff. Nothing like it whatsoever. It's a wander around, figure out what the hell to do, take something from A to B, figure out what the next bit is, randomly guess what's going on next. As you can see, I've got my alien. I'm popping him in a little chair. There he is. All right, mate, I'm going to call you Bob. All right, Bob, how you doing? You look as if you need a bit of help. Maybe I can go around, take him out of his chair. Maybe give him some kind of life. Let him know he's got a friend. 
Although he doesn't look like he'd be able to walk. I think he's only got one leg hanging out. Oh no, there is two. Looks like he could have an extra pie. Bit of potato, put a bit of meat on him. Hmm. Doesn't look good, does it? I wonder what would happen if I took a chainsaw to him. That's going to be a bit gory, isn't it? Ew. Ah, it, ooh, that looks painful. But I suppose that's what you get if you go NHS. Ah, he looks like a beautiful baby, doesn't he? Got a nice little spine hanging out. Right, I'll just help. Get your shed off. I think we might need to get you some clothing. Get you a bit of soap, bit of water, maybe a towel, clean you off. You look a bit skanky if you ask me. But the attention to detail on the graphics is unreal. Now, I like horror genre. I like it a bit of scary stuff. But this fascinated me. The kind of mind of a person that came up with this character, they need to be put down. The next thing to figure out was, what's Bob going to be any use for? He was following me around like a lost puppy, although it took him ages to catch up. Overall though, the game caught my interest at first. I wasn't feeling too well, so I didn't really stick with it at the time. I jumped back in. I got another level done. I solved this puzzle. I rescued Bob. Ah, he's probably got a different name, but I'll call him Bob. He started following me. I didn't know what the hell to do next. I kept wandering around. I gave up. In the end, the game bored me stupid. I don't think I'll ever play it again. Eh, yeah, I might do. But the chances are, I probably won't. It was free on Game Pass. There is beautiful graphics. If you've got the patience and you don't have flu, it may well be worth a go. But in my honest opinion, it's a game that needs a little bit of extra pace in it. It needs some excitement. It needs more action. The first couple of levels leading up to the part that I showed you, yeah, a bit more interesting, a bit more investigating, a bit more click here, there and everywhere. The rest of the game, nah, sucked. Didn't like it. Uninstalled it. Won't probably play it ever again unless I'm so bored I want to put myself in a coma. So my advice to you, by all means, Give it a go if you've got patience. If you like the genre, go for it. Me? Nah. One out of ten. Shove it up your ass. Don't like it. End of the video. Rubbish.